Have you ever lent money to friends or family? Chances are, if you have, you have not been paid back. Research shows 63% of us who are generous enough to make the loan will never see the money again. So what do you say to someone who asks you to lend them a bit of cash? Well, let's ask lawyer Paul Brennan, who's in our Marucci Door studio. Paul, is it a good idea to lend money to friends or family? Um, I, well, I think lawyers don't advise against it necessarily, but the, by the time people get to the lawyer's office, they've tended to decide to lend the money, and then the lawyer tells them that maybe they might not get it back very easily, and people tend to do a U-turn at that stage. Okay, so, so let's cut that U-turn off at the pass. Give us some excuses that we could all use to avoid giving them the money. Well, I think that the financial crisis has been very useful. Unless you've got pots of money, people understand that, that you haven't got it. Um, I think if you're married to a, a very horrible person, you can always say, I'd love to do it, but my, my spouse or my partner uh, I won't do it. Uh, you can always hint that they might follow you to, uh, to the ends of the earth. Uh, uh, even if your partner's very nice, you can always uh, hint at some sort of mental problem uh, about lending money. But I think uh, the last resort is really to blame your lawyer. And when people arrive at the lawyer's office, Obviously, all they ask for is uh, how much would the legal document cost? And uh, they want it uh, sort of a, a cast iron legal document. And the lawyer will tell them that really it's got to be a loan agreement plus some security. Security over a person's house, for instance, or car, or something of that nature. Now, that tends to cause a problem in two ways. First of all, it makes the legal documents more expensive than the people might want to uh, pay. Uh, but also, the person lending, uh, borrowing the money, uh, they probably have a mortgage up to the hilt anyway. So it does tend to put a spanner in the works. Yeah. Paul, then a bit of legal advice. If you are going to lend money, just run us through a list of safeguards that you should have in place. Well, I think even, even if you're Mother Teresa and a very generous person, you should actually document it uh, because people tend to die, get dementia or just go missing. Uh, so you should document it and you should have a loan agreement, uh, security. But even if you can't uh, wait for that sort of uh, thing, that just uh, post-dated checks... Uh, just to make sure that the, the money, uh, it's evidence the money has been uh, uh, lent. But they have problems uh, themselves. They're just too short. Uh, they also have a return date. You can put a bit of interest in them. It's very easy to sue someone on a cheque, although you can't get blood out of a stone, especially with your kids. Um, but I, I think that the best thing to do is to document it. Yeah. Great advice indeed. Thank you for joining us.